Hey, 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 what's up, my dear friend? How are you doing today? Thank you so much for always taking our time to listen to the Telling Bible Stories podcast. I do not take that for granted at all. You know, over the course of the week, I was thinking to myself, like, what if Jesus was running a podcast? <laughs> it would have been this particular podcast. Why? Because Jesus used to tell a lot of stories. And the Bible records a lot of stories told by Jesus. Today's story happens to be one of them. It's a story of a really big party hosted by a wealthy man that almost got ruined. This podcast episode is titled Highways and Hedges. Welcome to the Telling Bible Stories podcast. Experience the Bible come alive as we unravel its beauty using today's language. And now, your storyteller, Tola Omoni. The Johnsons family was one of the most influential and by far the wealthiest family in the society at this time. They hosted the biggest parties, drove the most expensive cars, and had connections in every possible place that mattered. The Johnsons were powerful, wealthy, and strong. As is the case today, most people tend to attribute influence by the quality of parties that people host and of course by the quality of the guests that show up. Mr. Johnson had planned to host one of the biggest parties in town as his regular tradition. He had sent word to a number of his influential, very influential friends telling them about the party and how he would love to have them in attendance. Preparations kicked off in grand style, contacting the very best of the best party vendors in town. Now, this was going to be the biggest, most luxurious party ever. The DJ had been contacted, the MC had been booked, the interior decorator had started plans already, the venue had been sorted. Sky Notch event. Now, Sky Notch event was the most sought after event planner at the time. And she had been hired for this job. Catherine was in place to be second to none. The media had been contacted as well. I mean, radio, TV, the bloggers, magazines, everybody. Photography, videography, you name it. Everything was already in top gear. And the countdown to the biggest, most luxurious party of the year, hosted by the Johnsons, was officially on. Since the party was a different kind, so was the invitation. It was not done in the regular way. The invitation was personally sent to all guests through a horse rider dressed like an ancient warrior, delivering the invitation cards with glitz, glamour and style at every of the guests' residence. Each invitation card had unique codes and the guests had confirmed their attendance. Everything was in check. Now, finally, the big day was here. Everything on point. I mean everything. When I say everything, I mean every single thing. The banquet hall was looking heavenly. Music was playing already. DJ was on standby. MC on standby. The food was ready. It was supposed to be a five-course meal. The finest food in town. This party was good to go. Oh, wait a minute. Did I mention the party was scheduled to kick off for 4 p.m. with a red carpet reception by some of the top news and entertainment media channels in the continent? Well, the clock hit 4 p.m. and there was no guest in sight. 4.30 p.m. no guest. 4.45 no guest. 5 p.m still no guest in sight. Miss Caramel George, the CEO of Sky Notch Events, puts a call through to Mr. Johnson. Hi, Mr. Johnson. I trust you're having a fabulous evening. Uh, but, uh, but please, you did not inform me that there was a change in time. What, what, what do you mean? Well, it's five o'clock and we have none of your guests in sight just yet. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, are you surprised about that? I thought you changed the time or something. There is absolutely no one here and, and everything is ready, sir. Mr. Johnson was 
Hmm. How do I explain his feelings? Okay, it was mixed feelings of anger, shock, and sadness. So he picked up his phone and called his personal assistant. Told him to start calling his guests one after the other. 30 minutes after, the PA returns to give him an update. The feedback he has gotten from most of them is that they will not be available for the party. No, 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 no. That's not even possible. How about the Ajayis? How about the Joneses? And how about the Williams? They all promise to be here. Oh, uh, sir, about the Ajayis, they, they said they have a new business investment they have to check on. Um, the Williams said they have a new property they just acquired and they would like to go check it out. Oh, while the Joneses said they just got married and they would like to rest. This is preposterous. All these guys actually confirmed that they were going to be here. What exactly is going to happen to this party? That's all set up. Or, uh, you know what? Call me James right now. James, go out to the streets and invite everybody. Invite everybody you possibly can to this place. Give them new invitation cards, new invitation codes. Everybody on the street, every random person, invite them to come in here to party with us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 30 minutes after, the hall was looking a bit full, but there was still a lot of room because it was quite a very big hall. James returns to Mr. Johnson with an update. Is the hall full yet? Uh, no, not at all. We have quite a number of people, but it's not filled yet. So, get back out there. Go to the highways, go to the hedges, go everywhere. Reach out to the people, young and old, irrespective of their status. I need everybody in here. Invite them to the party. Okay? Yes, sir. So James headed back out. Gives new invitation codes to all the strangers on the streets, on the highways, and the edges. Inviting them to this luxurious party with the best of music and with the best of food and all of that. As you will expect, in no time, the entire banquet hall was filled to capacity. The energy was high, the music was up-tempo, the party began, everybody was in high spirit, and it turned out to be one of the biggest parties in town. Not just the biggest party in town, but the most unusual because it had a lot of people who were not even of Mr. Johnson's status in attendance. The red carpet hosts had a great time chatting with new people who had the opportunity to talk about their needs and their struggles and how much the party was a great blessing to them. In the end, the party was so, so great, it just made the headlines everywhere. Oh, that reminds me, let me tell you about these guys, two of them. Uh, so when they heard the party was gaining momentum, these guys who had been invited by Mr. Johnson before now changed their minds and thoughts to come, but because they were ashamed, they snuck into the banquet hall. Now while the party was ongoing, the bouncers noticed them and fished them out and brought them to the attention of the host, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson just looked at them and told them, you know what, get them out of here. Nobody who was initially invited but turn me down, we'll have a part in this party. The party went on and like I said, it was the biggest, most unusual, most luxurious and most impactful party in the history of that town. And that's a wrap for our story today, Highways and Hedges. As a matter of fact, this particular episode came out of a conversation I had with a friend, True South, on my radio show, The Praise O'Clock Show, on praiseworldradio.com. So, my friend True South talked about his trip to Israel, and while he was at Jerusalem, um, it was in a taxi, the, the cab driver looked at him and asked him, Hey, are you a Christian? He replied him saying, yes, and the man laughed. <laughs> we killed him, we killed him. He was bragging at the fact that he, being a Jew, killed Jesus. My friend True South then realized how much those who have been invited to redemption by Jesus' blood are the ones who are now even rejecting the invitation. Whereas those of us who are Gentiles, who were not exactly invited and now part of God's kingdom. Amazing. The moral of the story is Jesus died for you and the party is no longer restricted to a select few but it's now open to everybody in the highways and the edges. 
so you are invited to the party. Now that is really, really, really exciting. You can find the details of the story in the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 14. I'm sure you'll love it. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast, Telling Bible Stories with Tola, on whatever platform you might be listening from. And if you are listening on Apple Podcast, please do me a favor. Don't just subscribe, but please write a review and rate this podcast. I will be so, 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 so delighted. Thanks to those who have already done that. I appreciate it. Well, that's a wrap right now. Till I catch you on the next Bible story, God bless you. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed every bit of today's Telling Bible Stories with Toller. Do remember to subscribe and share with your friends.